I have an Acer Aspire 5. I'm going to do some upgrading and cloning on this thing. It's brand new. I'll show you how to do it. Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Today I have this uh, brand new Acer Aspire 5 laptop. The, oops, the exact model is A515-56-363A. Um, said it is brand new out of the box with the out of the box stuff it came in s mode i already got it out of s mode in fact i've already got the 21 h1 edition of windows 10. now the customer wants to stick with windows 10 right now they don't want to go to windows 11. they can do that later he just wants to stick with windows 10. so that's what i'm going to do but i'm going to upgrade it, it came with only four gigabytes of ddr4 and 128 gig mvme drive uh, that's pretty typical on a laptop like this it's got the 11th gen core i3 processor so it is fairly up to date, so to speak. So I'm gonna beef it up. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to clone the factory NVMe drive onto a brand new Samsung SSD 980. Now this is a Gen 3, not a Gen 4. It's around 3,500 megabytes a second. It's comparable to say like a Western Digital Black SN750, but they're very, it's a very affordable NVMe upgrade to what you know he's already got in there so i'm going to clone the factory drive onto this new one and i'm going to add four more gigabytes of ddr4 2666 get them up to eight gigabytes of ram and when customers <clears throat> do ram and um, m.2 ssd upgrades i always like to throw in if the laptop will smart support it which this one does i'm going to throw in a one terabyte mechanical hard drive just for some additional storage now this could easily be a sata <clears throat> SSD, but I'm just throwing this in for free, so I'll have a terabyte to store stuff on, maybe music or pictures or something like that. It's not a gaming laptop, so not concerned about that. So I'm going to add all three of those items, the RAM, the new SSD, and the one terabyte hard drive after I clone it. <clears throat> now I did crank the scaling up a little bit. It is a full HD display, full 1080 display. I, I turned up the scaling, so hopefully you can maybe see it a little bit better. But I'm going to use a, an adapter like this. To clone this is a NVMe M.2 NVMe adapter you just I'm going to pop the drive the new drive in there as soon as I find it here get this cloning process started then we'll install these goodies so I'm just going to take the new drive plug it in no tools required just a little rubber grommet that holds it in place really don't even need to put the cover on if you're careful but I will and this adapter comes with a USB-C connector or just the A-type USB connector, but I'm going to use a C because I got a C port. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to plug it in right now. And because it is a Samsung drive, I've already downloaded and installed the free Samsung data migration software. It's free from Samsung. I'll have a link down below for all this stuff, the USB M.2 adapter, the software. So easy to find. So I got the drive plugged in. I'm just going to get going on the cloning here. I'm going to double click my icon. Now before any cloning process like this, um, when you're doing it in the Windows environment, a couple of things. Plug in your AC adapter. Don't be connected to the internet. Make sure it's not doing updates in the background. It's going to restart on you. Uh, turn off uh, your sleep mode. You know, go into your power management. Disable everything so it just stays on. Now because this is a brand new laptop and there's not really any data on it per se, the clone should be quite fast. So once the software opens up, as you can see here, we select our source drive. It defaults to the, the OEM Samsung NVMe drive that's in there right now. Uh, it's gonna be about, probably about half the speed of the new one that we put in here. <laughs> then our target drive, it's right here in the drop down, the Samsung SSD 980. Again, this is a Gen 3, not a Gen 4, uh, 980. A little bit more of a budget 980, so to speak. So there's what we got. And down here, because I am, crap. I got that scaling turned up. Can't get to my, okay. Hold on a second, guys. Forgot about that. <clears throat> uh, see if that helps. I got my <laughs> button down there hidden. All right, so right down here is start, because like I said, I turned up the scaling, so everything's kind of big. I just did that, so hopefully you can see a little better. Anyway, all you got to do is click on start. 
And it's just letting us know that the computer will shut down when it's done. And over here is our percentage. So I'm going to let this go through the cloning process and right at the end I'll step back in and we'll wrap it up and we'll get inside and do some upgrading. All right, guys, I'm back. We're getting almost at the end. This whole cloning process took about four minutes. Or actually, no, it didn't. It took, it's less than three minutes. <laughs> the software typically goes pretty fast anyway, but with a brand new computer with not much on it, it went really quick. Before you get inside your, your computer, your laptop, make sure you're, number one, using good quality tools. Protect yourself uh, from static electricity. All my bench tops, my floors are all anti-static. So I don't need to worry about it, but when you're inside, don't touch anything you don't have to. Just be careful, don't drop your tools or screws on your motherboard. Always hangs here at the end for a second with the Samsung. There's many ways to clone. I have lots of videos on different cloning methods and cloning different computers and whatnot. So I'm right back, guys. All right, the computer shut down. Looks like the clone went okay. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it from the C port. Take out our nice warm SSD here. Try not to put your oily fingers on the little pins down there if you can help it when you're handling those drives. Let's make sure this thing did go off. Yes, it did. All right. <clears throat> So there's our Acer. I've already, ahead of time, I took out all the screws. They're all exactly the same, so it doesn't really matter which one goes back in which hole. So now I'm gonna use my plastic spudger tool, a little triangle spudger, I like these. They got a little lip on them so they don't shove in too far when you're going around the seam. We're just gonna get into the seam. Uh, a lot of times if you start in a corner here, like I know my hands in the way, sorry, but I got to get it in there if I can. Just kind of work it gently along the front here. Oh, these things, these things are always stiff in the front. Got to get it started. The popping is a good noise. It's got to be, take your time. You can see it's kind of popping loose there. But don't just grab it, rip it off. You can break stuff. Don't shove anything long tools inside if you can value your laptop. Oh, that one actually lifts it off quite easy. All right, so there's our bottom cover up the way. All right, here's what we got. Um, our battery is still connected. I'm gonna unplug it real quick. So I'm gonna be in here for a minute. Uh, all you gotta do is the connectors right here just slide it back gently I'm gonna do that I'm gonna remove this little piece of well actually I might not even have to take the tape off I'm just gonna slide this back with my little nylon spudger here to unplug it all right I got it unplugged but as I added precaution when you unhook your battery go ahead and carefully open it and let's just push the power button in a few times discharge any juice that might be floating around in there in case you do drop something on the motherboard but don't do that all right that should work all right first thing i'm going to put in there's there's one ram slot there's four gigabytes of ddr4 on board and here's the four gig additional that i'm going to put in the slot over here excuse me make sure it goes in all the way you get a good clip and your little little arms clip it over really good and over here's our hard drive caddy now on the um, Aspire 5s all the Intel models 
They put the caddy inside and the cable's already pre-connected to the motherboard, runs under the battery here. But on the AMD versions, they put all this inside the box. So, and they do put the little mounting screws for the hard drive and the caddy, they put that in the box on the uh, Intel. So, we got the RAM in there. Let's get rid of our factory NVMe drive over here in the M2 slot, it's right here. Got one screw we gotta remove carefully. I'm using a number zero Phillips screwdriver with a good magnetic tip. Keep track of your screw. Take that out. Put in our much better NVMe M.2 drive. Make sure it goes in secure. And we're going to put that little screw back in there. And like I said earlier, don't touch anything in here. You don't have to, guys. Just a good rule of thumb. And now we're going to take the caddy out. <clears throat> There's four screws here. There's one here, 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 and back here. I'm going to remove the caddy, mount that one terabyte hard drive I'm putting in here. But like I said, you could put a two and a half inch SATA SSD in here, no problem. Two terabyte, one terabyte, 500, whatever you want. But I'm as a bonus I just throw these in for free for the customer might as well make use of that caddy so I'm just taking out the four screws that hold the caddy in I pretty much use Samsung and Crucial and some Western Digital, but Samsung and Crucial mostly. I'm going to remove this tape here to get that cable unstuck off the caddy. Don't need that no more. All right, so I'm going to lift the caddy out. The, so the drive is going to go in just like this with the label facing upwards, okay? Gonna lift that out of there. And I'm gonna go up to my number one Phillips to put the caddy screws in, in the little bag here. When these um, lower priced laptop ship the ones that come with four gigs of ram and 128 gigabyte ssd I almost guarantee they're going to be in s mode because microsoft wants you to use one drive and all that fun stuff but we can beep this up and you have to rely on that so much now you got a little better working computer in my opinion i have video on how to get out of s mode too i'll link that down below as well as the adapter and the Samsung cloning software. All right, so we got that mounted in there. Just like that. Okay, plug it back in. Said so that cable's already run underneath the battery on these. So we're gonna carefully set it in place. Only goes one way, guys. Just like that, there's your Wi-Fi card. <clears throat> Yeah, and the CMOS battery is over here, right underneath the M.2 drive, in case you're wondering. Sorry, my microphone cord getting stuck on my wheelchair, ugh. Pop those back in. Do a lot of these kind of upgrades on these new computers. People get these with those lower end specs and they want they want more. Plus, you know, I give them a one terabyte hard drive for free. Those are OEM, Western Digital. I'm putting in here West, Western Digital Blue. I buy them in bulk, so to speak. <laughs> but they're brand new. All right, so I'm gonna, last thing I'm gonna do is hook my battery back up. Be very careful when you're touching stuff over here. Just gonna plug it back in, make sure it goes in all the way. Yes, I have forgotten to hook the battery back up. 
when I put these back together. So depends on how busy I am and how much stuff I got on my mind. So there we go, guys. Let's put the cover back on real quick. Everything looks good. Hopefully we got a good clone. So I don't have to redo windows again. I'm gonna carefully snap it on. Now be careful when you're squeezing these back together, you don't squeeze too hard on the lid here because you could actually damage your screen if you pinch it too hard. I have never done it, but I have seen it done. And one of my guys did it once a long time ago. <laughs> all right, make sure. I'm not gonna put all these screws back in just yet. I do that kind of last, just in case. We have to open it back up. I'm gonna plug my AC adapter in as long as it's sitting here. Battery is fully charged, but still. I'm gonna hit the power button here and see what happens. Now with new RAM in there, it might take a minute for it to post for the first time, just depends. And of course the new drive, the, the, the new NVMe drive, but mainly the RAM has got to read that RAM. Bias has got to figure out what's going on. All right, we got a good post. Let me see that screen, all right. Looks like it's gonna boot. Yay! So you can see how easy it was to upgrade that. It didn't take too long at all. Now when you're done, you can un uninstall your migration or your cloning software. It's free, you can always reinstall it if you want to do it again. Let's real quick, uh, kind of had a weird angle here, sorry guys. Let's open up Mr. Task Manager here. So there's our 11th Gen i3 1115G4 processor. Here's our memory. Now we have eight gigabytes of DDR4, 2666. I know it says two of eight, but after we do updates and stuff like that, that should change. Uh, of course, um, here's our SSD drive, NVMe Samsung SSD 980, 500 gigabyte. Now last thing with that hard drive, we have to initialize that. So I'm just gonna go down to my start. I'm gonna right click on start, Oop, right click. I'm gonna click on disk management. Get this full screen here. And there it is popping up right there, initialize disk, yes. I'm not gonna partition it. I asked the customers, you want me, you want me to split it in half? And they're like, no, just leave it. So that's what they want, that's what I'm gonna do. So what we have to do is I'm just gonna right click on it, choose new simple volume, hit next, no partitions, uh, default drive letter D, here, if you want to name it something, you can always do this later, but I'll just call it HDD. You can put whatever you want on there. Joe's Music, who cares? Next, hit finish. It's going to do a quick format. And it'll pop up here in a second. There we go. Okay, so let's see here. So there's our new NVMe Samsung, and there's our HDD one terabyte hard drive. Plenty of storage now, double the RAM. What a deal. All right, guys, don't forget to smash that like button and the subscribe button, that would be awesome. Um, check out more of my videos on my channel, and hopefully it was helpful. Thanks for watching, have a good day.